Right, so what I want to do next is the header, which we have in our final build. So we have a link to Pokedex, we have a little image that's getting rendered. So we look at Gatsby image and then we will navigate to the articles page. So let's get this one done and then we'll get into the nitty gritty of the API fetching. So we're just building up and we're progressing step by step and learning new things as we go along. So if we go on to the header component now, so let's go into layout already we have header.tsx but what i want to do is create a new folder called header and then we'll move header.tsx into there and rename this as the index because what we need is the styles so, so i'll add that in as well which is styles.ts and let's focus on the header so this header does not look the best so let's close or delete everything in here and we are getting the site title from the prop so we do want that if I go into my final code in the header, we do have a header container, which is known as a header wrapper. So let's bring this in and I'll discuss it further. So this is all style component code. What we need to do is define the header wrapper, which is the wrapper or the container for everything. We have a link going to the site title, which is coming from the destructured props in here. But again, we need to do a query because the site title, we're not rendering that in anywhere. We need to query that. We have a logo container, which is essentially the Pokemon image that we have in the main header over here. And then we also have the articles that are being navigated to. So if we just copy the styles across into style.ts and paste this in, these should now be imported correctly because we're bringing them in from the relevant styled file. Now, this is where we need to do a query and this is a different type of query now. So what I'm going to discuss is the two types of queries we can make. So as you can see here, we have use static query, which again is in a component. There is another type of query that we will look at when we fetch the data on the page. So on the homepage for the Pokemon. So what we want to do is we want to copy this over here and then bring it into the header component here. So what we want to do is add it in before the return. So we need to return this in parentheses and then wrap this here. And then this is where we would add our query. So again, we need to use static query. So let's import this from Gatsby at the top here. And we also need to import in the GraphQL as well from Gatsby. So now if I save, I'm just going to separate this out. So there's two sections on the header. We have the query at the top and then we have the return block over here so now what we want to do is we need to render an image so first of all when we looked at the file structure at the start of the video if we go into gatsby config.js in here you can see if we keep scrolling down there was this here which says gatsby source file system so in the options we have the name of images which resolves to this path which is over here in the images here so we do need this plugin so if we go into the gatsby library docs this is pretty much the most popular one you can see here 1.55 million downloads this is pre-installed when we install the gatsby new so that's fine but essentially this plugin creates file nodes from files the various transform plugins can transform fi file nodes into other types of data so it essentially transforms our nodes into other types of data such as markdown remark nodes this is important because we can then fetch that in here so what i'm going to do is delete this and i'm going to try and fetch the existing images that we have in our images folder because they should be available once we add this in over here and it's already added in so let's go ahead and try and find gatsby icon.png so if we go on to here and then we need to search for markdown remark so let's close this one off and you can see here now we're getting errors and uh, this is how errors are shown in gatsby so as you can see here it says all image sharp so let's click that one and then we want to go into nodes and then in nodes we have this is an object so we can expand it like so but if we did com control space, if we did control space in here, we have all of these options in here. What I want to do is select Gatsby image data, which essentially is 
all of the image data that I want. So let's play that. And now you can see this is all of the image data that we need. You can see here I have one image of example PNG, which is that Gatsby image that we've seen. And we also have Gatsby icon PNG. So what I will do is if I deleted the example PNG, let's see if that reduces down to one now. So going back in here, if I press play, we now have just the one. So that's quite handy. So everything we do is not imported from the file, but it's imported from the query in Gatsby, which is optimal and optimizes performance in your application. So what I'm going to do now is bring in that Pokemon image. So if I just bring in the Pokeball in here, so now I've got the Pokeball, which is going in the middle of our header. And then I press play again, and we have the Pokeball here, which is a WebP image. So now I'm going to delete the other one because in this project, we only need just the Pokeball. So let's delete that, move to trash. So now let me close this down and I need to import Gatsby image from Gatsby plugin image, which again is coming from the Gatsby config as a plugin, which is already pre-installed, I believe. Let's just double check if we scroll up. Yeah, it's the first one. So let's close that down again. And now we have the header and I'm getting this site metadata, but what I really want is the image data now. So if we go into the query over here and all I want to do is copy this query because we need all of this information. And if we go into here and paste in the query and replace this one, so essentially we are using the static query and this time I'm going to change this to the header logo and not restructure anything from it because we need everything of Gatsby image data. Now you can see I'm going through header logo and to see what is in header logo, all you need to do is console log header logo and let's see what gets returned on the browser. So going into here, you can see there's an error. So let's not render that for now and comment this out and save. Right, so now that I've got the header logo, all I want to do is console log it. So now if we go into our app and inspect, what we want to see is the header logo in the console. And here you can see an object, it says header logo. And then we access it all image shop edges. We want the first index, which we get, then we get the node, then we get the Gatsby image data. So similar what we're doing in our app over here. So we are getting the header logo, all image sharp edges, first index, node, and then the Gatsby image data. And then this will be the Pokemon logo as the alt type. So now if I save, what will happen is it's rebuilding the development bundle. So now you can see there the Pokemon logo has loaded in. So now if I went to forward slash test and press enter, we'll get a 404 page because this page isn't available. So now if I click back to this forward slash, that navigates us back to the home page. And then again, this navigates us back to the home page as well. So let's close this down. Again, with the articles, which is what we look at next. If I click through to there, it says that the articles page is not there. So what we need to do is we need to build all of the articles and the articles page. So what we'll do is we'll do that next.